Oh, it's horrible. Oh, palaver. <sighs> What's that all about? That might be a logical conclusion. It it just hurts my soul. That's the one. Perfect. That's like a fiver of copper. Oh, I'll have that back now. If we can get through here, we'll we explore that option first. We've got to feed it around that drain pipe. I mean, if we lift it up more, mate, you could fit under there. It's so hot, my droopy eyes fell down on the uh, on the van. They did start up here, but they were slowly melting down. Hi <laughs> right, guys, um, today we've got a car charge to do, but it's a bit of a long run. So fingers crossed, this is the route. We're gonna be coming out of that air brick, coming up and following these cables here, and then hopefully drill through into a void underneath this porch, and then run our cable through. Ruben's gonna disappear into this bush and try and <laughs> come out that side. Then we're gonna tack it round, come up in this corner, along this soffit, and then either come into the garage this way, although I think it's gonna be better rear entry, coming all the way around here, and then popping through the garage wall where we want the charger. I think there's a zappy going on the wall there, but we haven't actually got the zappy yet. So we should really ring the office and find out what's going on there. Yeah, there's a drain pipe in the way here and a wooden lattice and a bush. And there's a really, really thick bush the other side, which Ruben's gonna go in, I reckon. He doesn't know it yet. The trouble is still not long enough. I think it is. All right, I'll keep, just let me know when it is, yeah? Yeah. Yep. We could just put a load limiter on it because it's never going to use the power out here. There's That's a six mil. Ten Wait, mil. is that 10 mil? Oh, yeah. Wow. It'd be way in that corner. Uh, doesn't look like it. It went somewhere, but it might have gone into the ground, to be fair. Looks like it's gone somewhere. Oh, I think I can see that actually. Did he say something? Um, that is right I'm a bit down muttering in the when he's on. Did you say you could see it? I think so, yeah. I'm that not... is like right, right in the like bottom corner. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if, I, shall I, am I better off coming up a bit and then aiming a bit more towards you, do you think? Yeah, if you can. That's the one. Perfect. Is that better? Yeah. Beautiful. It's between two bri oh. separate bricks, so then it wobbles my hand like mad. Let's get another one. Ow. I don't know if it's going to be easier to just push it. Oh, yeah. Maybe get that rod in, get it toward the hole, yeah. push the cable in and then tie it on, rather than trying to get that rod through both holes. Right. If that makes sense. I'm not sure where our board's gonna go. But what do I need in here? One, two, three, four, six meters will be plenty. So this is the um, the mains position, so we're putting in a separate DB in somewhere, not figured out where. But it's actually a three phase supply here. They're not utilizing L3, but you've got two solar arrays over the two different phases. One does the original house, and I think there's another part of the house that's on L2. And we're gonna go on to whichever one has the least load on it and utilize some of the solar. I'm not sure about that ceiling. And I look a bit azzy to you. Look at the joins in it. I mean, it's old enough, isn't it? We'll poke it around that first drain pipe and take roughly what we need. We need about six meters down there. So if we kind of walk it along here yeah. and have a bit coming along there. Yeah. Hopefully none of the cars need to leave. We'll pull the loop into the corner by the tree mm -hmm. and then we'll start feeding it in. So it might get a little bit scuffed up on these pebbles, but it's 
not much we can do about that. Let's get cracking. <laughs> Do another rod if you wanted to try. Yeah. yeah, what I'll do is I'll tie, if we just tie a bit of a cable onto that. Yeah. Find cables nicer to join onto than uh, using the rods. Can you reach this if I poke it through? If not, what yeah. I'm thinking is uh, I can just put get a hook on one of these to hook it out. Yeah. I'll poke it in, see if you can get it. Me. That's like a fiver of copper. Oh, I'll have that back now. <laughs> oh, I was leave it there. It's just candy floss. I think it's candy floss. <sighs> Is that all the length pushed in? No, no, I can push more in. Oh, okay, yeah. You want me to push more in? Yeah, go on. Yeah. I reckon there's a hook if you want to grab it with that. There's about one rod in there now. Nice. Let's go for it, ambitious. We're gonna pull it right through. Oh dear, I need a new tool bag. <laughs> Ordered a new one. It's coming today, but it was a van bag. Oh yeah? So I can tidy up my front seat. One time I want that tool. You know that st stripping tool, that EV Ultra one? Oh yeah? Do you want to just use mine? Am I just being thick? I'll just use a knife. <sighs> More palaver, me. Eh? All right, let's get this uh, drum reel back up. You on that line there? How, yeah. How does that look there? Maybe a tad lower. Yeah, yeah, about there. About there. Nice. And then if I get the laser, laser's really good for uprights. Yeah. Because then you can just plonk it on the floor and it'll give you a straight line up. Mm -hmm. And then at least you can get all of those clips on. Yeah. Okay, so we, uh, we've been sent the wrong cable. So that's kind of scuppled our plans. So I'm gonna go shoot over to Jordan now to get some off of his van. I'm gonna leave Ruben here. I've pinged some chalk lines so he can start getting the D-line clips up, ready for us when we do eventually get the cable and then we can pick up where we left off. Right, um, I'll be back as soon as I can. <laughs> We've got the correct cable now and we've got it underneath the porch, we fished it underneath there. So now we're just going to mark out these holes to in line with these cleats, get this clip from the uh, porch to here and then we're going to work our way around to the car charger from there. Oh, oh, it's warm. No. It's nice and cool down here, that's one good thing. <laughs> oh, it's lovely, yeah. So we've got quite a big setup. They've got battery, battery. Yeah, amazing. Wow, that's a serious solar and battery setup you've got isn't it so i'll probably tap onto the same phase that that's on so that's on yeah. l2 by the looks of it yeah and then that one's generating on l2 so if i get a yeah. ct from whichever one that is what about these solar. ones so i just leave them to do their own thing they're just monitoring yes. in there so just the only thing you need to be them. careful of is don't put rcts too, too close, close to these oh, otherwise they have interference like you learned the other day <laughs> um but you can put yeah you could put the harvey with two cts then one around each of these and then 
just and that's going sure that in, isn't it? Arrow pointing in. Is that right? It, it, yeah, the arrow should go in the direction that the electricity normally flows, which would be for solar, I think. That way. That way. And that for the grid, it would be that way. Yeah. Yeah, so we have one, three grid really. ones, two solar ones. Yep. And then... If you've got enough CTs, that's the only thing. I've got three CTs on the van. Great, okay. One that's will perfect. come with the Zappi. Yeah. And then I'm, Lee will probably have at least one. There's an one. extra one that they ordered with the Zappi as well, so... As long as any one of those massive, chunky ones. Ah, yeah. But yeah, it's quite cool. So I'm going to try out like a little for one. The garage, then, where does is that coming off off this or something? Do you know? I've not even looked into uh, it. It might be garage. Uh, that yeah. one. Yeah. This board. This board. Yeah, that's pretty. That might that might be a logical mm -hmm. conclusion. Might be that one. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, mate, your I might... powers of deduction are excellent, John. <laughs> Maybe if I can squeeze the little fuse box one in there. Yeah, that'd be nice. And yeah. then it lines up with them. Yeah. I'll, I'll figure out a nice way around it, yeah. or maybe go that way and down. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Should be good. Nice one, guys. I'll just mark. Just to space it and then just twist it back to the correct way. If that makes sense. Yeah. See, so he doesn't need any explaining. He's already there. Guys, what's going on here? I've just helped Sam from over renewables. Now I've been sent over to another job. What's that all about? Let me know in the comments. Many hands make light work. Hopefully. Jordan's going to reverse into the van now. I hope not. <laughs> Can you see a nicer way, Lee? At the minute, it's, we're going to go along here, along this back edge, and come in rear entry rather than muck about in there. Sorry, mate, are they fire rated screws holding them fire rated clips up? <laughs> it's steel and wood, it's fine. Well, around the backs, you're not going to see, are you? So no. It doesn't matter. Just stay chained. It hurts my soul. They just guys, I mean, cork, cork. guys, I can't reach. Do you want to swap? You have the cable. If only Nick Bundy was here. Oh, Wait, yeah. which one have you been going on? The last hole? Yeah. That looks too big on that one. That's it. Watch out, Luke. Um, Luke? Damn it. I keep calling you Luke for some reason. You could even ditch the six amp lighting circuit and just fuse it off a spur. So then you would have just had the sockets and then the car charger. We've gone as far as we can today. Um, we had the wrong cable. The charger still hasn't turned up. Jeez. And, <laughs> <laughs> and we've got an extra pair of hands to help us as well. Um, so we're going to call it here and hopefully tomorrow's a bit better. Love you, bye. <laughs> I can't say love you, bye, can I? around the meter. I was hoping for it to tell me what each phase had used and then I would, that would tell me which phase had the most load on it. Alas, I can't work it out. Oh. See, I try and remember everything and then I just forget everything. Oh, level. I don't know if I can turn it that way or bring it this way and through here, but then that's in the way. So awkward in my way. Just thinking maybe I can go over the top there and pop down here and come through the top of this trunk in. Told you I'd forget a million things. This job hasn't quite gone to plan. The car charger didn't show up yesterday, so I'm back today to sort it out. But unfortunately, Ruben's been stolen from me. Corey's need was greater than mine, apparently. It would have been a good one for him to do as well, a little one-way consume unit. But the plan is to... Uh, get this all dressed in and then do the other end. I'll talk to you guys in a bit about what's going on here because we've got a free face system, but let me get this on the wall and then I'll talk to you about it. So this installation has a free phase supply. So it's an old pilk coming in and then um, <clears throat> we've got three 100 amp fuses. Now, if you look at this one, two, three, you'd think that'd go into the meter one, two, three. However, there's actually a cross here. So you see this one goes into number one, this one goes into number three, and this one goes into number two. So this would have read reverse if you put your prongs on that way. So they've had to do a cross because they like it to read L1, L2, L3 and spin the correct way in the meter. 
So it's something that you might look at and think, oh, they've crossed the phase, but it's not the case. They just like it to read the correct way here. You could just go directly in. It makes no difference as long as the rotation's correct. However, here, they're not actually using the third phase. So they've got three phase supply, but you can see it's bunged up. And they've got one phase doing the original part of the house on this board here. And then the other phase is doing this, which goes off to the other supply. Now over here, we have two solar arrays and they are both split over the two phases. So what we're doing is this has less load on it and um, the batteries are storing up nicely on it. So we're gonna introduce our um, car charger onto this uh, L2, let's call it for now, we don't actually know what it is, phase. So they can utilize the solar and charge the vehicle because they did have the potential here to install a three phase car charger. It would have been a bit faster for them. I think it's about 21 kilowatts. Another thing to show on the meter here, you have all these different symbols. I'll just cover that up. But so you've got these different symbols. So you've got three phase, two phase, split phase, and two single phases, I believe. So split phase is something where the the, the star point of the transformer is actually 180 degrees apart. So you actually get a higher voltage. It's not something that's commonly found, but these meters are universal and can do any kind of meter in. So our plan is to get this all isolated. We're gonna come into the tails on these Henley blocks at number two, come off of our common neutral. Uh, but first we've got to isolate everything and get the solar turned off. So yesterday I had to feed the cable through here and it was like one of those bush trucker um, challenges. The amount of webs and spiders in there was absolutely horrifying. I'm not gonna lie, I did use a, my hammer to, to attack it a little bit beforehand and the amount of spiders that came out, oh, it's horrible. double check this charger to make sure it's the correct one because we have waited a couple of days for it and uh, yeah it really scuffle our plans if it's wrong. I was going to try and keep it inside the big box but I don't think it's going to happen. Is there a trick to opening this? Well it's white at least. I think that's what they ordered. And it's a small seat tea. Awesome, let's have a tea. That's it for today, guys. If there's anything you'd like to see in videos or information you'd like me to talk through in future videos, let us know in the comments and I'll try and go through them. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Reaching for a screwdriver. <laughs> it was a fork. Oh dear.